Head studs are a really important investment for your vehicle, especially when you're running certain engines like six liters and different things like that. Higher boost pressures are definitely gonna try to separate the block from the head. So it's been common practice for years to use a cylinder head stud, and we're gonna compare these today. So we've got Gator, we've got ARP, and we've got a knockoff brand here. Um, there's a lot of difference between studs. All of these are actually advertised at 220,000 pounds of tensile strength. Now basically what tensile strength means is it's the amount of force that uh, can be placed on the rod or fastener without deformation taking place, permanent deformation taking place. It's important to note when you're using a fastener, a fastener is a lot like a spring and as it stretches, it's supposed to be able to go back to its original shape. If it doesn't, we have what's known as plastic deformation. Come on in and let me show you exactly what we're talking about here. This is a stud, and we're not going to mention the name of it or the name brand, but this is a stud that we see actually necking taking place. Now what that means is, is where this, the nut was fastened around the, the stud, once this thing was torqued and it stretched, it almost is like Laffy Taffy. So it stretches, but it doesn't go back. You know, if you kept pulling a, a rubber band, it begins to get thin in the center. You might not be able to see it in the video, so that's the reason why I have actually grabbed a, some mics here. We're gonna measure the bottom of this, and we can see that it's roughly around 620 thousandths. If we go up towards the center, you'll see that it's around 589 thousandths. If we go back towards the top, 620 thousandths, okay? So we've got an hourglass shape taking place. Now the problem with that is, is that when that happens, and the rubber band begins to stretch and get thin like that, the clamp force is now depleted uh, it is sacrificed so you tend to have a cylinder head that's still trying to move around under high duress situations gator has been a major contender they've been a fantastic product we're really excited to bring them on uh, we've been using them for mm, several years now and they've been fantastic arp same way everybody knows arp they've been just a staple in in the industry for so long it's just a kind of a a lot of guys will say instead of uh, have you put head studs in? Have you ARP studded something? Because they're just, uh, they've been a fantastic product and kind of the, the pioneer. But both are fantastic. Both have great quality. Um, both are 220,000 pound tensile strength. And uh, I'll show you the packaging with uh, the Gator and we'll also look at the ARP as well. So with Gator, <clears throat> you get assembly lube that comes in a nice little bottle. I do like how they are individually packaged. The washers are. Um, so you're not digging around for anything as well as the nuts and uh, the studs. They protect the threads as well, so that's really important. The reason why that's really important is if you damage the, the threads of the stud, what you wind up doing is compromising uh, basically your, your torque spe spec. Uh, torque specification is basically nothing more than a measurement of resistance. And if anything is going to compromise that or alter that, it's no longer going to read correctly. That is also another reason why we use uh, an assembly lube when we are applying or we are uh, fastening down the, uh, the retainers. So it's really important that this is applied correctly. And we'll look at that in another video, how important it is to actually apply assembly lube on the bottom side of the nut because the coefficient of friction is greatest there where it meets the block because the surface area is greatest there. Uh, same thing with ARP. In our AAP box, it comes with, of course, your torque spec that you're going to need. This is actually for 5.967 application. We'll unbox this. And again, it does come with the same stuff, but you're going to see a difference in assembly lube. Um, everybody is going to use their version of an assembly lube. It's extremely important to use this. If you're not using it and you're not using it correctly, then you're not going to get the right um, uh, clamp load on your cylinder head. So both are great products the Gator and the ARP. So put down below in the comments if you have experience with either one and which one that you prefer. And uh, if you will, like and subscribe below the YouTube channel. We're on YouTube, we're on Facebook and Instagram as well. This way we can create more content that would be uh, more applicable to you guys. Thanks for watching. We're going to catch you on the next one.